Diankan was one of the four beauties of ancient China. Unlike the other three beauties, however, there is no known evidence suggesting her existence. Although she is mostly a fictional character, it was mentioned in Chinese historical records that Lao Wan caught a bushel had a secret affair with one of Dong Tzu's maids and was constantly afraid of being discovered, and this was one of the reasons why Lao Wan caught a kill Dong in 192. The maid's name was not recorded in history. Diaokun is best known for her role in Luo Guan's Hong's historical novel Romance of the Three Kingdoms, which romanticizes the events in the late Eastern Han Dynasty and the Three Kingdoms period. In the novel, she had a romance with the warrior La Wan Quarter Bushel and caused La Wan Quarter to betray and kill his foster father, the tyrannical warlord Dong Tuo. The name Dianakan, which literally means sable cicada, is believed to have been derived from the sable tails and jade decorations in the shape of cicadas which adorned the hats of high-ranking officials in the Eastern Han Dynasty. In Romance of the Three Kingdoms In the historical novel Romance of the Three Kingdoms, Diankan assisted the official Wang Yun in a plot to persuade La Wan Quarta Bushel to kill his foster father, the tyrannical warlord Dong Tuo. Wang Yun presented her to Dong Tuo as a concubine but also betrothed her to La Wan Quarta Bushel at the same time. Diankan used her beauty to turn Dong Tuo and La Wan Quarta Bushel against each other by inciting jealousy between them. While Dong Tuo is out one day, La Wan Quarta Bushel sneaks into his bedroom in the hope of seeing Diankan. Dianakan pretends to be very upset and attempts suicide by throwing herself into the pond, saying that she is ashamed to see La Wan Quarter Bushel because she had been violated by Dong Tuo. La Wan Quarter Bushel is heartbroken and promises that he will not let her suffer further at the hands of Dong Tuo. Just then, Dong Tuo returns and sees them embracing each other. La Wan Quarter Bushel flees while Dong Tuo chases him with a spear, hurling the weapon at him but missing. On the way, Dong Tuo meets his advisor, Li Ru, who suggests to him to give up Diakon and let La Wan Quarter Bushel have her instead, so as to win La Wan Quarter's trust. Dong Tuo goes back to Diakon later and accuses her of betraying his love, saying that he intends to present her to La Wan Quarter Bushel. Diakon replies indignantly that La Wan Quarter Bushel embraced her against her will and attempts suicide to prove her love for Dong Tuo. Dong Tuo is moved and dismisses the idea of relinquishing her. La Wan Quarter Bushel is outraged and goes to Wang Yun's house to vent his frustration. Wang then seizes the opportunity to instigate La Wan Quarter Bushel into joining the plot to kill Dong Tuo. La Wan Quarter Bushel kills Dong Tuo when the latter shows up at a ceremony for Emperor Xi and to abdicate the throne to him. The ceremony is actually a trap set by Wang Yun and La Wan Quarter Bushel. After Dong Tuo's death, Dong's former followers, led by Li Ju and Guo Si, attack Chang to avenge their lord. La Wan Quarter Bushel is defeated in battle and forced to flee. Dianakan's eventual fate differs in various accounts, some said that she was killed by Dong Tuo's followers along with Wang Yun after La Wan Quarter Bushel escaped. Others claim that she followed La Wan Quarter Bushel while he roamed around with his forces as a wandering warlord. In some adaptations of the novel, Diankan was executed along with La Wan Quarter Bushel after La Wan Quarter's defeat at the Battle of Xiaopi. In folk tales, in one folk tale, Diankan was captured by Cao Cao after the Battle of Xiaopi. Cao Cao presented her to Guan Yu in the hope of winning Guan's loyalty towards him. Guan Yu suspected that he was being tricked when he recalled how Diankan had betrayed La Wan Quarter Bushel and Dong Tuo earlier. He killed her to prevent her from doing further harm. In another tale, Li Bei, Guan Yu and Zhang Fei all wanted to marry Diankan and they argued bitterly over the issue. Guan Yu killed her to end the dispute. In the Yuan Dynasty play Lian Huan Ji, Diankan is said to be the daughter of Ren Ang, and her real name is Ren Hong Chang. She is in charge of taking care of the sable cicada hat so she becomes known as Diankan. She is introduced to Guan Yu by Zhang Fei after La Wan Quarter Bushel's death. Instead of accepting her as the spoils of war, Guan Yu decapitates her with his sword. This event is not mentioned in historical records or romance of the Three Kingdoms, but is propagated through mass media such as operas and storytelling. Modern references Diankan appears a playable character in Koa's Dynasty Warriors and Warriors Orochai video game series.
She also appears in the manga series Suit and Kauro. In the card game Magic, The Gathering, there is a legendary creature card called Dianakin, Artful Beauty. Notable actresses who have portrayed Dianakin in films and television series include, Violet Ku, Indio Chan. Lin Dai, Indio Chan. Chen Hong, in Romance of the Three Kingdoms. Irene Chu, in Sanguo Ainxiong Tuan Zi Guan Gong. Chen Hao, in Three Kingdoms. See also, List of People of the Three Kingdoms, List of Fictional People of the Three Kingdoms, List of Dynasty Warriors Characters. References